Hey everyone, so a couple weeks ago I bought a Chromebook and I've been using it as my primary computer since then and I thought I would just make a video kind of sharing my experience and my overall opinions of the device. So, um, and I'm actually screencasting right now from my Chromebook. So, but uh, here's my Instagram and here's a photo I took of it when I um, had it um, just kind of brand new out of the box. And uh, this is the Acer Chromebook 15. As you can see on the Google Store, it's $350. I got it on Amazon for $330. And um, yep, so look at the the main specs. Um, it, as you can guess from the, the name, it's a 15 inch uh, full HD display, which is nice. I've never had a laptop with full HD before, and um, it, it looks good. Um, it's not a it's not the most amazing screen that I've I've ever had but it's definitely um, you know the text looks good and that's what kind of mattered most to me I wanted to have kind of clear sharp text and um, that's why I got the the bigger 15 also just so that you know kind of the, the screen would be bigger so because the main thing I do on my computer is I'm reading and writing and so yeah that's I wanted my text to look good and, and it does look good um, it's got a Intel Celeron dual core processor so um, if you get the Acer Chromebook 13 it has an ARM Nvidia ARM chip and so um, and, I, and I believe that's I've read from the reviews that gets really good battery life this one it, it gets decent um, definitely better than my i7 laptop but um, and the good thing about this uh, Intel Celeron it really doesn't get hot and so you can actually use this laptop on your lap and it won't burn your thighs so uh, yeah so that's good and the other uh, the other important specs are it has four gigabytes of RAM uh, which is nice uh, a lot of Chromebooks come with two gigs but um, and I actually had um, about three or four years ago I bought this early Samsung Chromebook and it had two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gig SSD and it was really limited and I could really feel the limits of having two gigs of RAM so um, yeah so four gigs is nice it, it's a it's a good amount and 32 gig storage is really key especially since um, I installed Linux on this laptop so um, if you're using Chrome OS you, you, you might be able to you could probably get by on 16 gigs but if you're um, yeah, going to install Linux and install applications and all that you're going to want um, the 32 gigs it makes a difference and uh, th those are kind of the main the main the main specs to look at and so um, yeah and and like I said uh, I installed Linux now on my uh, Chrome my original Samsung Chromebook I um, it, it was kind of difficult to, or at least at that time it was difficult to get uh, true Linux installed and so what I did was I used a technique called Krabuntu um, which was a special script for install uh, getting Ubuntu running on a Chromebook um, it's similar to this project which you which is kind of more famous now Crouton which stands for Chromium OS Universal CH root environment and if you don't know what a CH root is basically it means you, you taking the the kernel of your host operating system and alongside it you're installing another operating system with its own libraries and applications and um, yeah so it, it it uses the original operating systems kernel but then runs its own um, environment so uh, that that's what crouton is doing and um, and so with, with th these kinds of techniques, chroot techniques, you have to have Chrome, Chrome OS uh, installed alongside your other um, operating system. And so that's what I did on my Samsung Chromebook. And it, it wasn't, it was, I mean, at first it was kind of cool. Wow, I'm running Ubuntu on a Chromebook. But in actually using it, I found a lot, there, there were a number of limitations. and. Uh, Plus, especially on my 16 gigabyte SSD, um, space was really tight. So, um, so for my new Chromebook, I, I was like, you know what? I want to run real, true native Linux 
Um, I, I want to wipe the hard drive. I don't even want to have Chrome OS on it and just run Linux. And to do that, I found it was trickier, a little bit more than I, I bargained for. Um, here, I, I, I had to open up the back of my, my laptop and I actually had to take the screw right here out because this is a, a write protect screw. And so I had to take that out and then I had to actually write over my computer's firmware, which was kind of scary for me. Um, I was thinking, oh my goodness, am I gonna brick my brand new Chromebook? But fortunately, <laughs> it all worked out. I was able to boot Arch Linux and I was so happy when I got to this screen. Um, didn't break my system and I was able to um, yeah, wipe my whole hard drive and just have, and so right now, I don't know if you can notice, but this is not Chrome OS. I'm running Arch Linux um, with the Mate desktop, which is sort of a real lightweight um, desktop. And um, yeah, and it's a it's a real legitimate um, Linux, Linux laptop. And so um, to people who are maybe interested in trying this, I would say this is not a beginner project um, I, I think I was a little bit out of my league but I was able to figure it out and um, and the thing is there is no sp I could not find a specific guide just for this particular device and so um, yeah even on this this illustration this photo which kind of shows you where to take the right protect screw um, if you can see here it's a little bit different here here the screw ended up being over here Whereas here it was uh, on the end, so um, I was kind of like, "Oh man, I think it's this screw. Let me take it out, and hopefully the thing doesn't fall apart." And I was right, but it was kind of a guess. So um, I would say, if unless you know what you're doing, you probably shouldn't do this one. Uh, it's a lot safer to stay with Crouton because you you um, basically with this, it, it's everything is reversible. You can get everything back to a stock Chromebook, stock Chrome OS setup. So that's a lot safer, but I was kind of feeling adventurous. So I uh, yeah, installed Arch Linux natively on this. So um, kind of uh, what are my, um, my experiences? I, I've, been, I've been impressed with, um, with the performance. Um, like I said, uh, with, with the, my original Samsung Chromebook, I was using, um, it was an ARM processor, so not as powerful. It had half the RAM and half the storage, and it was a pretty, I could, I didn't feel like I was using a true laptop. I was always aware, oh, this is a cheap Chromebook type thing, and I, you know, I, I kind of always felt that way. But with this computer, um, it, it really does feel like, um, yeah, it really does feel like a true laptop. It, it, I really do feel like I'm, uh, yeah, it feels like a real, a real computer basically, you know. And I did, I did install sort of a lightweight uh, desktop environment, Mate, and um, I didn't, you know, I didn't install maybe all the applications that I have on my more powerful Linux laptop. But um, yeah, and I think in in general, um, you like for me, I, I kind of went into this thinking, okay, you know what? I, I kind of have a specific use case. I'm gonna browse the web with this uh, Chromebook. I'm gonna um, read read articles, and I am gonna write, uh, you know, kind of text documents, or if I do write maybe more do word processing I'll probably do it in Google Docs you know um, you know I, I do get I'm not sure exactly how much battery life I get probably about like five or six hours but um, I'm usually not a lot of times like I'll be sleeping it you know um, and um, which uh, for the people interested in running Linux on this there are a couple of limitations it's first of all it has no caps lock key instead it has this search tool so um, but when you're in Linux this registers as uh, kind of like a super key which is kind of confusing so I haven't really figured out how to 
I'm sure there's a way where you can get this to function as a caps lock in Linux, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um, actually, this is a little bit different from my setup, but um, and as you can see, also um, it has these sort of special keys up here. In Linux, these do re read as function keys, but I've actually found it's kind of tricky. Like if I want to hit F6, I actually have to count. <laughs> like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since they're not labeled. And also, there's only 10 of them. So if you want to hit F F11 or F12, you're kind of out of luck. And um, also, there's no um, page up, page down, home, or end keys. Or delete which um, I didn't realize how important they were until I didn't have them. I'm like, oh shoot. So, um, so I've kind of had to do some hotkey workarounds for that. So that's a little bit annoying, but um, you know, I, I, I've, I've kind of made do with that. Um, also kind of a quirk is even if I shut down the system, um, if I, when I open the lid, it, it starts up. So I'm not sure exactly if it's like truly shutting down or why it's doing that you know how it's reading that out of the box Linux doesn't run perfectly but um, really uh, the the Chrome OS project has done a really good job of um, basically sending their uh, their patches back up into the, the Linux kernel so um, I mean I would say 95% Linux just works with a Chromebook so which I, I was really impressed with so um, yeah, so I really like this computer. Um, who would I recommend this for? In terms of if you're going to use this for Chrome OS, who would I recommend this to? Um, first of all, this is probably not going to work out as your prime, as your only computer, okay? Just because of the limitations on the um, storage space, and because a lot of times there just is certain applications that you're going to want to run. Um, you know that you're gonna want to have uh, Microsoft Windows or Mac OS 10. Like I, I would recommend this to people who already have a desktop computer, but they want something else, something more portable, and something that's kind of, you know, I think, just more uh, comfortable to use. And also, you know, it's uh, the thing is, if you're running Chrome OS, it's a much more secure platform than Windows or Mac OS 10. So do most of your web browsing in Chrome OS I think it I would recommend it to people as a secure platform and um, you know and obviously the, the main security um, vulnerability would be running installing uh, Chrome apps that are insecure so you got to be careful with which Chrome apps you install just because it's in the App Store doesn't mean it's 100% guaranteed to be safe but other than that it's very difficult to get malware onto a Chrome OS device so and um, yeah you know and it's it's very they're very affordable and I, I do like this uh, the, the Acer Chromebook uh, the build quality it's um, I don't know it's decent it's a lot better than the Samsung one it's not as good as a MacBook Pro you know obviously but um, the keys feel pretty good um, they actually feel better. I like the keys better than my um, expensive, uh, expensive laptop. So uh, the, the the touchpad is not very good though. So I mostly use a, a mouse with it. And for people, for the the Linux users, um, if you're not afraid to take out a screw and um, flash over the firmware, I would say, hey, you know what this. If you can get Linux running on this, it it's a legitimate uh, Linux laptop. Um, you know, as I said, there are uh, some limitations, like especially with the keyboard and then with the the small uh, hard drive. But um, you know, and that's the thing too. Like I, I've been able to like I, with um, with um, Matei's file manager, I've been able to connect through SFTP with my my uh, my Mac and so I can access all of um, I can access my Mac's hard drive 
um, while I'm on the local network and like right now I just open this image as if it were on my computer even though it's over the network so that's pretty cool uh, using SFTP so um, and that was really easy to configure so I mean especially if you already use Chrome as you can see I have a number of extensions uh, installed if you already use Chrome you know have it synced with all your bookmarks and everything um, and if you um, are not afraid of using web services this is a great kind of secondary or tertiary computer and it's great value and it's great bang for buck so that's kind of my review of the Acer Chromebook 15 and um, please let me know if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts about this device uh, in the comments alright thanks for watching